Hey everybody, just wanted to make a quick uh, overview video of my tool bag setup here. Thanks everyone for the birthday money. I appreciate it. I was able to get the tote and a couple uh, tools in there, which are going to be really helpful. Uh, first off, I got this tool tote at Lowe's. Um, one of the main things I was looking for is something that's open top that has a handle and a couple larger compartments. Uh, I'll kind of get into that a little bit later. On the front here, they have this accessory rail. I don't know if I'll do much with it. This is a little magnetic thing that Kelsey got. You could clip it onto your pocket, on your belt. There's the brand there. It's a very strong magnet. You put screws there if you're working. You can put your hammer there. You could also, if you have, let's say you have a putty knife and you're just messing with something, anything that's that has um, magnetic metal you could actually attach to there it's just easy to use while you're working in the moment um so that's on this side you know we have tape so let's go tape i'll get some more of maybe duct tape and some other things that's a folding utility knife from walkie this is just my dewalt utility knife this one's nice because it holds um i think it's like five extra blades here so you can see kind of in there it's got this little clip I don't know what to use it for, but it's nice to have the option. On the front, we have um, a couple Sharpies here, just red and utensils, um, and then a carpenter's pencil. Again, like that, um, showed you that magnet. There's a putty knife. Over on this side, this is not technically for a tape measure, but I didn't like how the tape measure holder on this side, it kind of hung down, kind of weird, so. I know this one on the end of the bag seems a little less intrusive. And then moving into the bag, I basically have it in three sections. I have basically my power tools, whatever. I'll probably leave this empty and just throw whatever I'm using for that job. Most often it's my impact. This middle section is electrical, and the side off to the left, that is probably just any other general use tools. So off to this side, I've got my rigid um, impact. That's really handy. I've got a bunch of extra bits in here. I've got T25, Phillips 2, and a couple smaller ones here as well. These are um, T20, I think, and T30 bits. So T25 is the most common you'll see. Anyway, in the middle section here with the electrical stuff, starting on the right, I've got my... These are um, basically for Romex wire stripping. They've got 12-2 and 14-2 uh, capability up here. They also have basically solid and stranded wire stripping for 12-14 solid, 16 or 14-16 stranded. If you wanted that, they also have the ability here for 832 and 632 screws. You basically thread them down and then close this and it'll cut them to length. So those are really nice. And then for any of the other single-stranded um, wires that need to be stripped, this is a, a 10 to 18 solid strand uh, wire stripper. So anything that's outside of the typical Romex, you could use these ones for. On this back pocket, I've got just some shears I found in the garage. They're actually really nice. I don't know what brand they are. Um, I don't have a pair of linemen, so I purchased these a couple years ago. Just the Knipex. Um tongue and groove, not tongue and groove, whatever they're called. These will work probably just fine set of linemen. They don't have the cutter on them, so that's the only disadvantage. To make up for that, I've got a pair of side cutters here from Milwaukee. These are just the six inch version. They seem to be pretty nice. This little set I'm really stoked about. This is a precision um, bit set or screwdriver set from Husky. This is you can tell from the red end that this is insulated. This is actually, uh, I believe it's a thousand volt insulated uh, precision set. So you can basically flip them to either side. And then this has basically this rotating cap so you can palm it and basically spin this, which is really nice. And then there's a bunch of different precision bit options there. Next, this is one I picked up from Klein that I'm really excited for. This one is... Uh, another flip insulated set from Klein. This is a little bit larger size, so it's not precision. But this one has a cool locking feature, feature where you'll turn that collar and then it'll pop this bit out. You can buy more of these if, if you want, but this one just came with a number two Phillips. 
it's just like a standard flathead. So that's nice, also 1,000 volt uh, rated insulated. I probably won't work live, but just in case, um, it's always nice to have that. In the middle, I have some gloves. I have this torpedo level. This has a magnet on it. Um, it works really well. It's inexpensive, but it work, gets the job done. I have this headlamp. The main reason I got this one is because it has a USB rechargeable slot on the back here. Um, anyway, you can easily plug it back in. I think it's USB, like mic, mini USB or something like that. And it's nice because they don't have to buy batteries continuously for it. Off to the left side, this is kind of the general tool area. The main pockets have my S-Wing hammer and a stud finder. It's kind of bulky. I might, oops, might want to get a smaller one just to not take up as much space in the bag. Here off to the side, I've got my 8-inch Knipex needle nose pliers. These things are really nice. They're kind of loose, but it, it makes it really easy to use. I have my, I think these are 250 millimeter um, Knipex Cobra pump pliers. These things are pretty much a daily use thing for me. They're fantastic. I have my two Phillips bit Weehaws here. Um, this is a number two. I think the other one is a number one. I just sharpied on the back because um, as a striking cap, it doesn't have that identifier. This is a uh, flat blade here. This is a 1.2 by 6.5. Um, this is a little larger, but I figure for any area that we need smaller, we could use this insulated one from Klein or even the precision bits as well. Um, next is this, this is the largest flathead that comes in the kit that I got. This is 1.2 by eight. Uh, and you can tell I've used the striking cap quite a bit. This is kind of my prying tool. It's a really nice uh, tool because of the striking cap that I can really hammer on it and pry something up. And then I've got this 10 inch adjustable crescent wrench. This is very, very nice. I love having the black oxide one too, it's kind of nice. And then I think one of the last things in here is going to be my hex bit set. I like this relatively well. The little packaging comes in is kind of wonky. It'd be nice to get a little bit of an upgrade there, but it does have um, Imperial and metric. So it, it definitely has a lot of options and it has the ball ends, which is kind of nice. Makes it a little bit easier when you're working at a weird angle. Um, anyway, I think that is pretty much everything in the bag. Again, um, it's kind of nice to have something I could easily just pick up and grab, bring it inside. Hopefully I have everything I need for that project and go from there. So thanks everybody.